Okay, welcome to my epic trip of over a thousand kilometers from Kalgoorlie to Perth via a few areas. This trip I'll be using economy mode and I'll be sticking to the speed limit 100 to 110 kilometers and I will use air conditioning and I will charge my battery if I can overnight. Now the first leg of this journey is to Kulgadi, so not a very long trip, just 41 kilometers is the very first leg. So I've split this trip up into a few different legs. So here we go with our first leg, 41 kilometers to Kulgadi. Okay, so I'm ready to go off on my journey. So I'm, it's saying here 411 kilometers of range but we'll see how that goes and we'll see how the electric range goes but I've got no trailer for the first time driving a long trip so we'll see how we go so we're just stopping here at this lookout called Gardi Pit Lookout which is an old mine and just having a, a quick look around here just near the Kulgadi pit lookout and I've just used up the battery so I'll just show you the dash so there you can see the battery's all gone but I'm fairly happy with that a little bit of fuel let's have a look over here so 89% so far so good okay now we're ready to go to our second leg which is quite a long one 140 kilometers to Karali rocks so let's get this stretch over with we just got to Karali Rocks and we've done 181 kilometers roughly since we've left Kalgoorlie and we're doing pretty good. So we've done, we've still got 346 kilometers according to this, but bear in mind of course we did the first 35 to 40 kilometers with mostly battery. So that's pretty good figures. And here's the aqueduct at Karali Rocks, a very interesting aqueduct. And there's a dam as well, so it's quite a fascinating little spot. Now there we have the dam here. Just a little small dam. Apparently there's some freshwater crayfish in it. Never seen any though. Okay, our next leg is to Southern Cross, which is, isn't too far, 58 kilometers. Okay, so we're just about to head off from Coralie Rocks and you can see 7.6 liters per hundred, but bearing in mind that includes the, the battery use. But I'm certainly very happy at the moment. So we'll see how we go in the next leg. Not far to Southern Cross and then we'll break for lunch there. Okay, so I just filled up. So we're showing 451 k's after I just filled up. And let's have a look what this trip meter says. So the fuel average, eight liters per hundred at the moment, bearing in mind, of course, the electric stuff. So this is the Southern Cross Lookout, where I stopped, had a little bit of a rest. Very nice and lovely day today, so really enjoying the weather. Not too hot, just warming up a little bit. Okay, there's another fairly long stretch here, 129 k's to Muckenboon, so let's go. Still got lots of wildflowers blooming for early December, which is amazing. So we've just driven all the way from Southern Cross and we've done about 131 kilometers here. And as you can see, the tank of petrol is still quite full. So I'm amazed at the fuel economy. It seems to have peaked at 8.3 liters. It's not going any higher than that. It's even fluctuating and going up and down. So it's actually doing really, really well, I have to say. I'm, I'm quite happy I don't know if I've got a towel when that might be helping but all in all it's doing pretty good okay really looking forward to the next stop is Lake Campion and Eaglestone Rock never been there before but really looking forward to visiting it I've heard it's beautiful and it's only roughly 30 kilometers so let's get to it that that makes 
like walking on snow. This is just an astonishing place. Very stark and beautiful. Okay, so I was going to go and check out a rock at Nungaran near the town there, but I'm a bit tired from the day, it's warmed up quite a bit, so I'm just going to head straight to my accommodation at Gabon, which is not far from Ben Coven. I may have to pop to Ben Coven to fill up as well. Um, yes, yeah, so about 83 kilometres or so. Alright, I'm ready to go here, and it's showing a range of 531 kilometres this morning, which is excellent. 38 kilometres for the battery. So, yep, I'm all set to go to my next... I'm going to Calabaran today, but doing a lot of stops on the way, just having a drive around, doing some tours. So probably going to do a few hundred k's before I get to, to Calabaran. So we'll see how we go. Okay, so to get to Lake Bandy, it's about 99 kilometres, so just over one hour. Our second leg today is to, to Calabaran, it's just 23 kilometres, a very quick trip. Get to Calabaran, didn't really need to fill up, but I put 10 litres or so in, so I'm full again. And we're showing 5.6 at the moment, so I did get close to 40 k's, actually more than 40 k's, just on electric, which was really good. So, so far it's... Yeah, I'm very happy with that. Okay, so I've decided to drive to Mekarin to check out the earthquake ruins there. And then when I come back, I might go up the hill here in, in Calabaran. So just 70 kilometers is this little stretch here. Okay, so it's getting late in the afternoon here. So I'm going to head back to Calabaran. Okay, it's the morning of day three. I'm just re-recording the audio because the original audio was terrible for some reason. So I was a bit tired last night and I didn't do a video, but it was 7.2 litres per hundred was the final reading, which was really excellent. And now I'm just going to do a little trip. We're going to go to Meckering again, and then we're going to head south and go on some of the roads. I've heard it's very pretty down there. So just to Meckering again, which is 70 kilometres this leg. So if you're ever passing through Meckering, or visiting Meckering, I recommend you check out the Camera Museum. If you've got any interest at all in photography or videos or movies, you'd be very interested in this museum. It, it's quite a fascinating place. Highly recommend it. Okay, so now I'm going to head down a bit south before I go back to Calibre and just check out the roads down here. I hear it's very pretty. And then we're going to make our way after that back to Tamman. Probably stop at the roadhouse for some lunch and maybe give the dog a walk. I think that's what we'll do. Alright, so I've had a trip and I've just filled up again at Tamman and the fuel economy is going pretty good today, even better than yesterday. So 6.4 litres at the moment and it's not far to get back to Calabaran. I'm just going to have some lunch, a late lunch here now. So yeah, it's, it's really going good, the fuel economy. Okay, so another long day, and this is our final leg to get back home to Calabaran. Okay, so I've finished for the day. I've done just over 200 k's today, and I've got fuel economy, 6.5 litres. Now, I did charge for a couple of hours at home too, which means I was able to drive around the town here. But that's still good. It's a little bit better than yesterday. So, very happy so far. I can't complain. This trip is going well. Okay, so it's my final day and we're going to Perth today. We're going via a place called Topin Rear and that's about 70 k's and then after that we're going to head up to Northern before going on to Perth. So yeah, a few hundred more k's and I'll be finished my trip and in Perth. So we just made it to Topin Rear which was about 70 k's and I'm on 3.9 litres at the moment so a good start to the day here. 
So I'd never stopped here before at Topin Weir. Um, very lovely water here and it's a nice place to go for a walk. Zoe had a great run around, so a good place to take your dog as well. Great spot. Okay, our next leg today, on our final day, we're going to Northern and it's just over one hour. We're in Northern and look at that, doing pretty good, 6.5 litres per hundred. So another good day, I think I've got a bit of a tailwind today though, so that might be playing into it. Okay, so my trip's nearly over, it's been a long few days, but we're going to Perth now, just over an hour to get to my Airbnb in Nonamara. My trip, so there you go, I'm just under 1,312 kilometres, so quite a long way I've done and the final fuel economy for today was 6.8 litres so we'll give you a summary coming up but that's pretty good I'm overall I'm very very happy with the car it's it's really performed well okay so I'm bringing up the figures of the fuel economy now on the screen so you can see I went from the eights to the sevens into the sixes so on the whole it's it's a superb performance I'm very happy especially because I don't have to usually pay for petrol around town so on a long trip that was really good thank you very much for watching if you've stuck with me for this trip thanks a lot and we'll see you soon Bye.